Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Walter, teacher. Hello, good evening. Ah, how are you, teacher? Oops, I cannot hear you. Let me check out if it's my problem, okay? Okay, no problem, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Walter. I was just checking that I couldn't hear you. Hello, how are you, Walter? Ah, uh, a little better. Uh, about you doing better? Yeah, uh, because yesterday you were sick, right? Uh, uh, yesterday, I could not beat the fever. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't. Okay, yeah, I'll take it for you all. I'll take it for you. It's like this. Look, uh, it says I couldn't. It's the contraction of could not. Okay. I could not. Okay. I could I not. Couldn't. I couldn't. Yep. Ah, contraction. Couldn't. Okay. Yeah, it's the contraction. Oh, uh -huh. but I'm happy that you are here, ready to start the class. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. I am glad you are here, ready to start. Me agrada que esté acá y listo para comenzar. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, but you still look a little bit like. Aún se le nota un poco. Yes, yes. Uh, there are the, the there are the moments uh, we had a problem. Uh, more plus, uh, more the illnesses. How do you say enfermedades? Illness, yeah. Oh, okay, anything. Uh, they support you. Uh, how do you say that is bajo? Down, down. Down, uh -huh, okay, down. Uh, uh, for for the moment, oh, yeah. For the moment, uh, exactly. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, take it easy, relax. Okay, teacher, no problem. Okay, let's see, Maria Alejandra. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? <laughs> well, fine. I could say here. And tell me, <laughs> how was your day, Marie? Uh, my day, I was fine because this is this is my day off. All the Tuesday, I don't have a work. <laughs> okay, you don't. I don't have to work. I don't have to work. <laughs> okay, that's excellent. Awesome. And tell me, uh, what did you do today? I. I see or saw my father. Okay. Um, visit my mother and stay in your house. In, in her, her house. house my, in my, her my, house. My, my. <laughs> Sorry. In her house and and only that. And then I take a Uber and I took I, I took an Uber and stay in the house. <laughs> Okay, so slow day, easy day. Yes, easy day. I relax. <laughs> That's good. The only problem with days off is that they go so fast. Yes. And tomorrow you gotta work again. Yes. <laughs> but um, uno se acostumbra, no sé cómo decir. Okay, you say it like this. You say uh, you get used to it. 
I can hear you. You get used to it. Ah. Uh -huh. You get used to it. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. That's what it means. You get used to it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, well, thank you for being here in class and welcome. <laughs> thank you. Marta and Avelinda, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Tell me, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. And, and you? I'm fine here, ready to start the class. And tell me, what did you do today? Um, what? My day was a normal day. Okay. Um, very busy, but I survived. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> okay. And tell me, what time did you finish working? Um, five uh, thirty. Yeah. Five thirty. Okay. Five thirty. So you have you have had time to relax. No much. Because I I I have a home homework or task I don't know a uh, make a dinner um, wash the dishes uh, only task okay so doing in my house in my house doing the housework the house job. Yes. The house chores, the house chores. Yeah, it tends to be like a little bit stressful. It happens, it happens that. Yes. That you need to you need to do many things around the house, and when you find out, time's gone. It's correct. Well, welcome to the class, Martha, and thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is here. Ambar, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher and guys. Well, it was a relaxed day because in Dominican Republic was- Oh yeah, you a, told me. It's a day off, it's a holiday. Yes, uh, Corpus Christi and was a, a relaxed day because I don't have a lot of work. I didn't. Yes. Sorry. Okay, well, that's cool. So what did you do today? Tell me. Mm, um, um, some uh, only um, stay at home and I made shorts uh, after after 4 p.m. and I how do you say estuve esperando la casa? <laughs> okay. You I've been like waiting it. for the class. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, teacher, I have a question for you. Sorry. Uh, um, respect. Uh, the homework yesterday homework in the platform uh -huh. because I I don't I didn't understand the homework and I don't I didn't do I didn't do the homework. Okay, tell me which homework was it? We are talking Sorry? about section two. Uh, section the two. Homework Homework eight, let's see. Homework eight says, read the following sentences and complete them using chair. the proper form of not allowed, pay attention to the pronouns. Okay, don't worry. Today we're going to work with that. I will work with that today. Okay. Huh? Thank you. No problem, no problem, no problem. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, today we need to cover that section actually 
the problem was that yesterday it took us longer one activity. Ayer nos tomó mucho tiempo una actividad, and today we need to cover that. Okay, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Just let me check because I was checking. Actually, I was just checking that. Okay, and <coughs> yes. <coughs> Okay, perfect. Yeah, I was checking that situation and don't worry, we are going to cover a little bit of that explanation today. Okay, because it's about, uh, about it's allowed and it's not allowed. That expression means eh, es permitido y no es permitido. Or actually in Spanish, we don't say no es permitido, we say es prohibido. But in English, you, you don't say it's forbidden. You say it's not allowed. But don't worry, we are going to check it out later on this class, okay? So relax, okay. somebody. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Janita, hello. Hello, teacher. Yes, you. Uh, How are you? I'm fine. Uh, was a uh, uh, easy day because mm -hmm. Like uh, Amber, Roxana, Maria Alejandra, Marta, and me. Uh, Republic Dominicana was a holiday. Dominican Republic. At Domi Dominican Republic, it was a holiday. Dominican Republic as a holiday. And then, okay. was easy day. Okay, look, look, look. You were forgetting the at, at. Ah, okay, Republic at Dominican. At, at, at Dominican Republic. At Re Republic? No, no, no. At <laughs> Dominican Republic. At Dominican Republic. Okay, it was a holiday. Okay, it was a holiday. Remember that at, in this case, means a uh, ¿Se recuerda que veíamos que lo usábamos para referirnos al lugar exacto? Sí, yes, es equivalente para nosotros para decir en, cuando nos referimos al lugar, en. Ok, ok. Like, I am at home, estoy en casa. I am at work, estoy en el trabajo. ¿Do you see? Ok, ok. Because it's so specific. This, yeah, so in this case, at Dominican Republic, it was a holiday today. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so what did you do today? No well, much. Uh, not much, really. Uh, I have a uh, pendiente. No, pendant. A pendant uh, report to make, and then I, okay. I take a time for... I took. I took a time for Development. Okay, now remember time. You cannot count it. El tiempo no se puede contar. I took some time. Okay, okay. I took some time for development. Development. Uh, development. And that's all. It was a really easy day. That's cool. Excellent. Yeah. No call. Uh, no email <laughs> was easy day. Cool. That's excellent, excellent. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for being here. Let's see who else is around. Hey, hey Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? How was your day? Uh, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a ladies. I was very oh. busy in my job. Okay, what did you do? Uh, Tell me. But uh, every every Saturday we had to pay all the all the old people in the company. And okay. Only we have to check the the payment, the day payment. And we have to we have to close all payroll about the, the last week. 
And okay, then when so we you have check, you check the payroll. You payroll. check the payroll, Rania, right? Yes, payroll. Payroll. Okay. I'll, I'll type it. Uh, then, payroll. Payroll. Yep. Okay. That's planilla. So you were busy. Yeah, but it is. It is. Uh, how do you say parte, parte de? It English? is part, it is part of. Parte de, o, o, es, o es mi día a día. Okay. You can say it like this. It's, uh, it's part of the job. You can say it's part of the job. Or you can say it a more formal way. More formal could be, I do it on a daily basis. Lo hago a diario. I do it on a daily basis. That's formal English. Uh, okay. But oh. it is, it is, we, we have to do it, but when I have, I have do it, or I have done teacher. I have done many, many years ago. I have done, I have done it. it is, I have done it for I have many done years. It. Okay. I have done it for many years. Like this, I've done it for many years. Remember that when you are speaking, you use the contraction, okay? You say, I've done it for many years. Yeah. Done it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank I've you. I've done it for many years. Now, thanks to you. Welcome to the class, Wilfredo. And relax, you, don't teacher. worry. Today, we are going to have an easy class. Let's see. Fernando, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. And you? How are you? Just great. Just great here. Yeah. Let's see. I got I got a new expression for you guys. I said just here. Uh, I can say chilling. Chilling means uh, <clears throat> like cool. Yeah, or yeah, or just chilling. Or if you talk to somebody who grew up in the eighties, si habla con alguien que well, actually, somebody who learned English in the 80s, con alguien que aprendió inglés por allá por los 80, they perhaps tell you uh, here, well, let me see how was that expression, kicking it. Here, kicking it. Kicking it. Yeah, that's an old expression. As I tell you, uh, if you, if you talk to somebody who grew up in the 80s, or who learn how to speak English in the 80s, that person is going to tell you, oh, here, kicking it is pasándola. In the 90s, easy, okay? Take it in easy. I keep in, the, in the thousand, in the 2000, chilling. Uh, chilling. Okay. Yeah, okay. remember that languages change, they evolve, but people, Keep on speaking the way they learn. Las personas mantenemos parte del vocabulario de como lo aprendimos. Right? It's like uh, words in Spanish. It's like some people uh, write nowadays. Nowadays people write oscuro, like that. O-S-C-U, right? But in my case, when I learned, it was obscuro with a B. And I still write it like that. Y yeah, uno escribo así. So, I mean, languages are like that. The same goes in English. The same goes for informal expression. Lo mismo va con las eh, expresiones informales. Uh, some expressions like that, like those are like, uh, what have you. That means like, 
it's the same as saying whatever. But some people say, oh, well, we have to do many things, you know, and I have to, I have to prepare classes, I have to teach classes online, I have to check on my students' homework and what have you. Se volvió una muletilla for people in the 80s. Then there's the people like me who we tend to use the word like. Okay. That's because okay. of, of when when I started learning English, like is like saying uh, like uh, como. In this case is como. But in my case, I use it a lot because that's when I learn English. Uh, some of my friends they use a lot so. So I use it also. So let's start right now. So let me take the attendance. You see, I use it in those expressions. I use so, and you can notice it. I creo que se han dado cuenta, but I use it sometimes. And yes. it's like, you see, I use it. And it's normal. You get people saying so, like, and those type of expressions, it's good for you to know them because I mean, you are not going to talk to be talking just to teenagers. You are going to also be talking to adults and adults depending on when the, the, the time when we grew up, that's the way we speak. Right? So, so you ask me how I, uh, how I was and I tell you what, here, chilling, cool. I'm, I'm fine, okay? What about you? How was your day, Fernando? It was a good day. Um, oh, really? It wasn't a hard day. I mean, I had to work and I, I was in a meeting most of the day, the major oh. part of the day. Yeah, most of the day. Most of the day, okay. <laughs> I I don't like being on meetings. I hate that. Yeah, but the pro in, the problem is because of my job. I'm a teacher, so I'm the one who I'm used to be me being the one who's speaking and talking and moving. But then sitting, paying attention to a meeting, man, I get sleepy. Well, but in your yeah. case, you say it's good for you because you were relaxed. Yeah, and in my case, uh, actually, uh, I work from home. And, oh, that's cool. And each day I have a meeting in the morning, in the, in the afternoon, uh, incluso, even, even, even. Even. Even in the night. Even at night. Uh, even at night. The, uh, remember, anytime. Fernando, the part... The parts of the days are like this, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, okay. at noon, and at midnight. Okay. Okay. Sometimes, use... sometimes I work at midnight. Oh, well, I understand you. I got you. I got you, my friend. Lo comprendo. I got you. That That's happened it. to me last night. Yeah, I got you. That's informal English. Okay, that's very informal English. They are working with the modismos. Ahora estamos este día creo que nos hemos ido con modismos. Yeah, because I got you is very informal. That's something that I use with my friends. Es algo que uso con mis con mis amigos. And I say, hey, I got you, man. It's like, um, entiendo. Okay. Teacher. Okay, last. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Fernando. When you use I got you is the same when you use, I get it. Yeah, just that you are very, very formal. When you say, I get it. I understand you. I sympathize. Okay? So, entonces, I, I got get you it. es como yo entendí. I get it es como yo entiendo. No. I get it is more formal. They are the same. Well, actually, I got you is fast. But if we are talking colloquial English, si hablamos del inglés coloquial, I mean, 
if you are my friend, okay? You're my pal. Somos pal, pal. Uh, somos pal, uh, cheros, right? Uh, I don't, I don't tell you. Oh, I get it. I tell you, ah, got you, man. Okay, I got you. Okay. I get it. Capo. But in a very, very colloquial and informal way. Eso es muy informal. I mean, don't ever say that to your boss. No se lo diga. So when with my boss, I can use, I get it. I get it. Yes, you can use, I get it. Yes, boss, I get it. No problem. But you don't tell, you don't tell your boss, got you, man. <laughs> No. The boss is going to be like, what? Say it again? <laughs> okay. You see, it's, it's different. It's different. It yeah. depends on with whom you are talking. That's why I tell you. With, with my friends, I say like, hey, I got you, man. I'm, I'm down with you. Okay? Este, okay. Te comprendo completamente. I'm down with you. This one doesn't have any sense. Esto no tiene nada de sentido. I'm down with you. Es como yo estoy abajo contigo. No, but that means, hey man, I'm down with you. It means, uh, te comprendo completamente. Simpatizo con lo que está pasando, ¿ok? También puede significar cuento con, cuenta conmigo. ¿Ok? Ok. Like Walter tell me, hey teacher, I got a problem with uh, Carlos and you know, Carlos is a big guy and he looks very strong. And I said, don't worry, man, I'm done with you. You see, it's very, very informal. Hi, Carlos, just kidding. You see, this is very, very informal English. That's mostly, it's like, uh, right now I'm talking almost like slang. I'm hablando casi a Estamos hablando I mean, casi? Caliche, slang. Uh -huh. Okay, that's not, uh, I mean, that's what not the mean, type. Caliche. Exactamente, ese, 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 ese significado. Realmente nosotros le decimos caliche. El término correcto es caló o jerga. Uh -huh. Okay, that's uh -huh. the main. But. The thing is this, that usually in regular classes, you don't get to, to, to get that type of word because uh, mostly I speak like this. It's a type of academic and formal English. Okay, yeah. Academic English is kind of different, but that's why once in a while I try to get you into, the, into those like everyday words because that's something you don't find in books. Esto es algo que no encuentra en libros. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you will not find in books somebody telling each other, hey, here, chilling, man. Yeah. Or got you, or, or, or like this, oh, I'm done with you. Okay. It's like when, if you talk to somebody from the, from the 90s and the 2000s, and they tell you, hey, Janita, I love those headphones you got. They're bad. So in that case, bad means they're good. But they say, hey, they're bad, man. And you get like, what? They're bad? bad? No, they're, yeah, bad. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they, if I tell you, man, they're bad. It's like when, when I see, oh, you know your, your classmate here, Alinda, she wears t-shirts from, from rock. I love rock. I tell her, hey, Linda, that t-shirt you're wearing is bad. I like it. I'm saying that it's bad, but I'm meaning that it's great for me, but I like it. So you have to, 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 to get those ideas because people speak like that. In everyday fashion, people speak like that. I mean, you can speak formal all the time. The problem is that if you are all the time speaking pretty formal, people can think that you are an that you are a stuck up person. Stuck up, like you know, 
entre ellos. That's when you talk about person. So, I mean, once in a while, you will listen to those words and you need to be able to understand those words, okay? Well, yeah. well guys, man, time's running. Thank you, Roxanne. It's been interesting talking to you, but I need to greet everybody here. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. How are you? That's great. What about you? Tell me, what have you done today? Everything fine. And uh, today was my day off. Cool. Yes. What did you do? Uh, in the morning, I just washed my clothes and uh, then I, I went did the to laundry. The I did the laundry. Okay. Yeah, I, yes, I did the laundry and then I went to the grocery store to get some food. And, and then I came home. So in the afternoon, uh, I didn't do anything. I just uh, stayed home and Watch, watch some videos and listen some music and that's all and now i'm here yeah really so, Man, yeah and sylvia i hate you i'm kidding yes because the week was very hard we had a lot of work this week so yesterday i was so tired so now i feel good so this week, ready has for been, this week has been hectic for you. Hectic. hectic. Yeah, uh -huh. hectic is when you have a lot of things to do. Okay. You say, oh man, today was hectic. It was crazy, mm -hmm. okay? It's another way of saying crazy. I had a crazy day, but instead of saying crazy, you say, oh, it was a hectic day. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Hey, you're okay, welcome. guys. Before I move on, I need to take the attendance, man. Let me see. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just let me get rid of this. Now, just a little bit here. Okay. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Today is the. Third, perfect. Ambarelli Alfaro Gonzalez. Gomez, I'm sorry. Present teacher. I was changing yours last night. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cebrián. Here. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvia Janet Beltran de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navenida Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, thank you very much. Well, Let's see, guys. Today, today we are going to work with a lot of information. Let's start with the part of the conversation. But before that, let me ask you a little bit as my questions. Okay, companies. All companies have some rules, right? 
like in my company, well, um, at one of my jobs, I am like, uh, I have to, I have to be on my job. Uh, actually, it's, it was kind of a weird rule because we have a, a, a check-in time, okay? In my case, early in the morning, it's at 7 a.m., but I have to be there 15 minutes before, okay? I have to be there 15 minutes before. That's one of the rules. Now, tell me one of the rules from your company, Carlos. For, for check, do we have to stay at um, 7.30 a.m. every day? Today, well, we are working at home. Uh, we have to uh, send a message, sub message, um, at before seven thirty, and usually we uh, at the end of the day we have to send another message. In, in the, that that is it's the rule. The, the rules. In, okay. When we, if if we go to the work presential work, uh, we have to wear a mask. Um, we have to give a, a alcohol and we have to wash our hand and take um, we have to um, take a temper temperature in temperature in temperature temperature okay temperature and we have to wear a uh, how do you say manga larga, teacher? Oh, long sleeve shirt. Okay. Long. Okay. Sleeve. Shirt. Okay. Oh. Long sleeve shirt. Oh, oh, only that, teacher. Okay, well. That's that's many. That's many. Those are many rules. Yeah, long sleeve shirt, or yes. you can say just long sleeve. Long sleeve is like this. Uh, sleeve is la manga. Okay. Just the word uh, sleeve. Means manga. Thank you very much, Carlo. Let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Janita, what about your company? Tell me some rules from your company, please. It's expected checking at 8 a.m. in my case, in El Salvador, because in, at Republica, the at Re, Dominican Republic is a different schedule. And here in El Salvador, it's expected checking at 8.30 and finish at 5.30. Um, another rule is that it's one, keep track of task. And what more? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, you have a lot of paperwork. If paperwork. Yeah, if you keep track of tasks, that means that you do a lot of reports. Yes, but it's not in paper, it's uh, an Excel. No, no, no. Yeah, but the, the expression is paperwork. Ah, okay, okay, Des okay. Decimos papelería, pero nos estamos refiriendo a, a reportes. Okay. Yes, it's a, a lot of uh, paperwork. All, you need to keep all your, your tasks and you need to put a ticket in the software for this task and you have a meeting and take a note about this meeting and then it's a lot of paperwork. Okay, well, uh, 
When you talk about meanings, what you get is the, cuando son minutos, eh, cuando son reuniones y lo que tomamos son apuntes de la reunión como un resumen. Uh, let's see. Uh, estamos hablando de la minuta. It's not really a, uh, how do you pronounce? Mi, min, minute. Minute. That's, yeah. Uh, it's not really a minute because it's for yourself. Okay. But sometimes your boss uh, asks about this. Request, request, or ask or request. Pregunta ask por? Es preguntar. Sí, pregunta request por. es pedir. Okay, no, pregunta por, ask okay. for. Okay. Perfect, interesting. Thank you very yeah. much, Janita. Okay, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's Ambar? Ambar? Oh, right here. Oh, no, Ambar, you work in the same company. Forget it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you work for the same company. Okay, let's see, let's see. Fernando, you don't work for their company, right? Right, I work from home. Okay, tell me, what are some rules from your company? In this day, the rules are um, security or the security, no sense? Yeah, the security. Yeah, the security. And oh, the, the protocols. Safety, the safety. Protocols. The safety protocol. The safety protocol and other rules that exist before the pandemic are, say, use uh, carnet or tafete. ID. I didn't use ID and dress formal. Okay. Oh, there, there's a dressing code. And there is a dressing code at your company. Yeah. Hay un código de vestimenta. De vestimenta. Dressing yeah. Code. yeah. Uh, Do you wear a tie? Do you wear a tie? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Monday to Thursday. From Monday to Thursday. Uh, Friday is oh, informal. It's, it's informal. Okay. Uh -huh. Casual. Informal Friday. Oh, that's cool. It's yeah. Nice. Wearing a tie every day, man, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Uncom uncomfortable. Well, okay. I used to wear. I used to wear suits every day. I mean, me took un tiempo a dar de traje todos los días. Believe me, that's uncomfortable. So, For me, me, I, I been in home. I been in work from home, uh, approximately uh, one year. Okay, so I yeah. say them. I say. So if you uh, if you go back, you will feel the difference. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I you feel will this. really feel I will feel different. Different. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Thank you very much, Fernando. Okay. Okay, so you see, we are talking about rules and every company got different rules, right? Like uh, he says, the dressing code, uh, the protocols, in the case of Carlos, the protocols are very strict and defined. And like even wearing long sleeve shirts, okay? The, now with the, due due to the pandemic, due to the video, uh, due to the pandemic, uh, we have uh, uh, many new rules and protocols to follow just to just to get into the company, right? Just to, to, to get into the company, I mean you need to follow a process like taking temperature, applying uh, alcohol, alcohol cleaning your shoes, and well, even for visiting people, we need to follow a protocol. Every house you, I mean, some people like in my house, if you come to my house, they're gonna spray you at the entrance. That's normal here. And you get used to it, right? But those are rules, okay? Those are rules that people uh, have stated due to a reason, to a specific reason. Companies got their own rules. And that's our topic for today. 
Let's check out the conversation we have assigned for today. Let me see. And here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of this. And the conversation, let's see. It says here, listen to your teacher. Okay, so now. Oh, by the way, they are just reporting me. Perdón, voy a hacer un comentario en español, un anuncio. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan que me mencionaron ustedes de... Uh, uh, que tuvimos un problema en la... En la plataforma, right? En la plataforma, en un ejercicio. Este, me está reportando la compañera a cargo de eso que ya lo arregló problema en la plataforma. Podemos realizar, háganme el favor, revisemos el ejercicio y, y veamos si acepta la corrección. Si acepta la corrección, por favor, cuando puedan, lo hacen, me avisan, me comentan, porque así yo reporto que ya todo está normal. ¿Ok? Porque en mi caso yo lo veo de, de la plataforma, pero estoy ingresando como, como, como instructor. So, eh, algunas cosas para mí son distintas que para ustedes. ¿Ok? Let's see. I'm sorry, it was the advertisement for the commercial. Let's go back to our activity. Yes, what should resolve the problem, teacher? Oh, it's solved already? Yes, it's yes. ready. Okay, Thank you, you say teacher. it like this. You say it like this, Janira. So it's así. It is solved already. It is solved already. Okay, it is so already. Yep. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Here. Well, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got here a conversation. And the conversation says, Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. I repeat. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, let me just clarify something here. Uh, this expression, I want to know. Let me see, let me see, hold on, okay. This expression here, uh, want to, this expression, some people are going to pronounce it. I want to know, wanna. In an informal way, you say wanna, okay? But it's the same as saying want to, okay? It's just the pronunciation. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. And here, uh, to sleep in work hours. You can also use working hours. Okay, working hours. Let me repeat one more time. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. 
Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company. And it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hour. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hour. Okay, guys, ready for the pronunciation? You're going to practice. Uh, I'll give you four minutes. It's very short, so four minutes is enough. And then we are going to do it here. Okay, let me just create the groups so you can go and practice. Okay, groups are created, please. Let's show the team. Let's see, remember I'm gonna go check on the groups. Okay, let's see. Right, okay. Uh, you start? Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employees. Procedures. Yeah. Sorry? Procedures. Procedures. Uh, Procedure. Okay. Good and Procedure. Oh. So there, there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed. 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 Allow. I'm sorry, allowed to sleep to sleep in uh, work hours. You are right. It's also not allowed. Do you use the cell phone in work hour? Okay. Switch. You are Sandra. Yes. with the new employee well he cannot he cannot continue with us procedures procedures like that procedures yes procedures procedures yep procedures okay yeah, perfect Sylvia. i see it is because of what happened Perdón, I see. It is because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company. I think. Okay. <laughs> Finish? Ready? Yes. I see. Okay, let's see. Let me hear it. Yes, Maria? 
¿Cómo se pronuncia? Sería. How do you pronounce? How how do you pronounce the procedures or like that? Ah, okay. Um, allowed or allow? Allowed. Allowed. And values or values? Values. 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 Okay. Thank you. Wilfredo, can you stay tonight? Tell me. Can you stay tonight? No. I'm sorry, after teacher, I don't understand you. Can you stay tonight after the class, the 10 minutes? ¿Se puede quedar hoy los 10 minutos? Yeah, it is okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's see, everybody's coming back. Let's see, Shanira and Maria Alejandra, you're gonna start. Shanira, you will start. Teacher, my, pan, my partner was... Yes, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> but you're not gonna do it with your partner. Okay, it's, it's not a problem, okay. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the, with, with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue, continue with us. I see. It is because of what happened? Yes, he was co-smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Perfect. Just remember, Janita, procedures, procedures. Procedures. Yeah, like in say chuco, procedures. Okay, procedures. Like that, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Carlos Murillo and Edward. Carlos, you will start. Okay, teacher. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it, is it because of, of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It's no, it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Perfect. Just remember, Edward, with us. With us. With us. 
Well, he cannot continue with us. The situation is here, Edward. When you have a word, usted tiene una palabra that ends in T, que termina en T, and the next word and starts with a vowel, y la siguiente comienza con una vocal, you can get them together. Usted junta los dos sonidos. And the T becomes, the sound of the T becomes as an R. Y el sonido de la T se convierte como en una R. With us. Okay? With us. Okay. Perfect. Okay, thanks. With You're us. You're welcome. With us, with us, with us. Okay. Now, Fernando and Elvia. Okay. First time. For, uh, Elvia starts. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedure with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It's because of what happened. Yes, he was couch smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand he knew the values of company so there is no excuse and also is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You're right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in working hours. Perfect. Just Elvia. Cough. 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 The, 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 the GH sounds in this case as a as a Spanish jota, coch, coch. La GH en este caso va a sonar como la J en español, coch. Oh. Like that, coch. Oh. Okay. 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 Perfect. Walter and Wilfredo, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, you will start. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Uh, well, he cannot continue with you. I see. It is because of what happened. Yes, it was a cold uh, smoking inside the company and it is now allowed. I understand. He knew the values of the, our, our company. So there is no excuse. And, no, and also, it is allowed to sleep in work hour. Yeah, you are right. It is also not allowed using the cell phone in work hours. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh... Procedures, procedures, with procedures. us, with us, with us, allowed, 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 allowed. Okay, and here happened something very interesting. I keep talking about interesting. In the last part, uh, Walter. Right, uh, Walter said, you are right. It is also not allowed using the cell phone in work hours. He said, it is not allowed using the cell phone in work hours. And that's correct also. You can say after allowed, después de allowed, you can use, uh, well, always comes a verb. Siempre viene un verbo. Okay? okay. But the verb comes. In infinitive or in gerund, pero el verbo viene o en infinitivo o en gerundio. You can use either one. Puedo usar cualquiera de los dos. You can say, it is not allowed to use. It is not allowed using. It is, oh, okay. it is not allowed to smoke. It is not allowed smoking. And they mean exactly the same. Y significan exactamente lo mismo. Okay. 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 Now let's see, let's see. And let's see. I did it already. Uh -huh. 
Roxana and Ambar. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Roxana, you start. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happened? Yes, he was cold, smoking inside the company, and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, perfect. Employee, Roxana, employee. Employee. Allowed, allowed. allowed. Okay, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Now let's see, Francisco Eduardo and Marta Ana Belinda. What's that? Uh, you, Marta. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. What, what do you what do you know about the procedures with the new employee? Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happened. Yes, he was called smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. Uh, Perfect. You are right. It is, uh, it is also okay. not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, sorry guys, perfect, perfect, excellent. Just a little thing that I've been noticing in, like three of you have done the same thing. In the, in Sandra's second part, in the second part of Sandra, uh, some of you have say, I see it is because of what happened. It's a question guys, is it because, is it because, no it is because. Is it because check it out? Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, You're welcome. Fausto and Sylvia. Sylvia, you start. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with a new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company. And it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. Uh, and also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hour. Okay, perfect. Sylvia, I see. Is it because of what happened? You said it is because of what happened. Check it out, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, because it's a question. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thank you. No, thanks to you guys. It was very well done. Now, guys, I need to get the attendance again. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Present, present teacher, present. Thank you, Francisco. 
Carla Marielos Guevara Calleja. Present teacher. Thanks. Leslie Fernández Chichoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Ok. Let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Ok, guys, let's see. Let me share with you. Now, what we are going to do is the following exercise. Okay, what are we gonna do is this. From the pair work, we're working in page number 40, 25, we are going to answer questions number two and number three, working again as pairs, okay? What is the problem with the new employee? Are these rules similar to your company? Yes or no? How? If it's yes, how? Okay, just the number two and number three. Those are the only questions I want answer for you. Those are the ones that we are going to be practicing, answering, asking and answering uh, with your partner. Just let me get a picture of the same activity so you can get it. There's no problem with it. Vamos a tomar una foto para que todos la tengamos. Okay, remember just number two and number three. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry. Okay, groups. Groups are recreated. Okay, guys, please. Let's get into the groups. You're just going to have five minutes to discuss. Okay, then we come back. Five minutes. Wilfredo, can you get into the group? I don't hear you, my friend. Okay, here you are. Hello, Mr. Wilfredo. Hello. How are you, Walter? Uh, yes, it is. How? Oh. Uh, rules in my company. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Sure, uh, I'm going to uh, go to my job. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The three questions. Thank <laughs> you. 
No hacía. How do you say no hacía? <laughs> Didn't do. Didn't do. And don't have a problem. <laughs> Didn't do. But. When I work in the home office, the people don't see. <laughs> A rules. Uh, or don't respect. I don't know. Don't follow. Don't, don't follow, follow the rules. Don't follow the rules. But some rules uh, we keep. Guardamos algunas reglas. We, we keep. Oh. How is the correct for we keep if you if you say we keep the rules it means uh, mantenemos okay we keep some rule because the checking and check out is mandatory because i have a vpn but yes don't report uh, my boss when i connect only stay here <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know in my case because when i i didn't connect to the to the vpn call me to the by whatsapp or text me by whatsapp some user and then it's mandatory that i need to connect or check in at time Mandatory. 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 Okay. Mm, in my case, it's the same, but no controlling, no controller. Your boss, my boss, doesn't, no doesn't uh -huh. have co control. Yeah, my boss uh, didn't take attendance, but mm -hmm. the user follow me <laughs> yeah, yeah. what's up I um, need help I need help and then uh, okay I don't I don't have escape it's correct teacher say I don't have escape I, I can't escape I, I can't escape, escape. Uh, okay. company yes and it is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Allowed. 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 Okay, yes, that was the problem because the new employee was caught smoking inside the companies. Inside the company, yes. And are these rules similar, similar to your companies? Well, in my company, yes, it is, are the same rules too. It's not allowed to sleep in work hours, for example, and is not allowed use the cell phone during work hours too. Okay. In my company, um, it is similar uh, because it is not allowed to smoke inside the company and also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. The only difference is that in my company, we are allowed to use a cell phone because we work with internet, with a cell phone, with a computer, and that's like um, um, social media. Social media. Or, net, or las redes sociales. Yes. Social media. That's so, social, media. social media. Social media. Yes, because we have to be in contact with our clients um, with the cell phone 
and by WhatsApp, by email, and all the time we have to be using our cell phone and the computer. So that's why we have to use, uh, we are allowed to use a cell phone, but in some areas like reception, the bar area, um, the managers, but there are other areas that it is not allowed. Yeah. Area, area. Area. Areas. Where do you do work, Cynthia? Do you I work in a, uh, I work in a hotel and we have a restaurant and a bar here in the beach, in the beach. Oh, really? Yes. Which one is it? Uh, the name of the hotel is Palo Verde and the okay. name of the restaurant is Olor de Mar. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's at El Sonte, right? Yes, here in El Sante. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very interesting yeah, because we meet I'll people visit, from I'll everywhere. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You can go to visit El Sante. Very nice. It's been a long while since last time I went. Hace mucho tiempo mm -hmm. que fui. Last time I went, it was in 2000 and... Seven. 2007. Okay. Yes. And did you come to the beach here in El Sante? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, the thing That's is this, uh, at that time, I used to work at uh, Chintipan. Ah, you worked in Chintipan. Yeah, I used to work there. So, uh, I trabajaba. Ah, okay. That's that's very fine. So you know all these uh, all these places. I think yeah, like I the Tunco, <laughs> the parties. Well, I got relatives <laughs> at the Tunco. Tengo familiares en el Tunco. Ah, okay, okay. That's 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 cool. Yeah, and I used to go to all those beaches and have fun. Okay, there are many new okay. restaurants um, here. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, guys, in one minute, we go back. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, we are just waiting for everybody to come back. And there you are, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, Roxana, tell me, what are some rules in your company? In my company? Yep. Uh, in my case, I can use uh, the out of, message for the office, out of office message. Uh -huh. Because I can, um, Ah, llenar el correo eh, full de emails for other persons, for other eh, co-workers. Okay. And another, eh, maybe I can't, eh, no. It is not allowed eh, sleep in work hours. Why not? I want to sleep right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and... Mm. I need to uh, oh. 
hay... ¿Cómo sería? No tengo muchas reglas, como trabajo en casa. So, I can't sleep, I, I can't smoking in my house, but it's my house. For example, I, I don't uh, smoking, I don't smoke. I don't, I don't smoke. I don't smoke, but uh, I can say that my company uh, rules is that is is not allowed um, no smoke. smoking in the company uh -huh. in my company and play and, and it's not allowed play with my cat for example okay in our and in our company and in our works work work hours perdón. and okay. that's it that's it perfect thank you Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Silvia, your case is very interesting. Tell us about the, the rules in your company. Mm, okay. In my company, uh, it is oh, not allowed to, to smoke, uh, sleep in work hours, to get late at work. And, but it is allowed to use a cell phone uh, because we have to contact our clients. We have to send information. We have to send confirmations. So uh, that's one of the things that we can do in our company. Uh, we have to always wear our face mask uh, to wear our uniform, our complete uniform. Um, we have to be always on time at work. Yes. Um, also, we have to be clean. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes, that's Thank it. You. Thank okay. you. Excellent. Okay. Wilfredo, what about you? Hey, teacher. In, Tell me about the rules in your company. Uh, we have many, many rules, teacher, to allow. Tell me some. Yeah, because my company is a textile industry. And then there are many, many machines. And first, we have to be there at 7 a.m. Okay. But I, as a supervisor, I had to be there. I, I like to be there always 30 minutes before because we have to, due to the, the pandemic, we have to give all the people their mask and put alcohol held in, the, in their hands. Then uh, into the production floor, uh, many people, the all the people, sorry, they can go over there because it is dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah, because many many operators are over there moving material from the warehouse to the production floor. Then inside the company, we can smoke, we can uh, all the um, Los operarios, the operators, yeah. they cannot yeah. use their cell phone. They cannot to be talking with another people because it is um, allowed. That's why it is because they could have an accident because they are yeah. operating the machine and may maybe they can get a, a cut in their fingers and it is it is very very dangerous then in warehouse area there are many rainbow mountain cargas what what you say uh, montacargas Oh, I, I don't know how I can say it. 
Dolly. It's a dolly, dolly. Or, a, or a leaf truck. Ah, okay. But in, in this area, it is most uh, dangerous because uh, sometimes um, um, an operator didn't, didn't see another operator and uh, le pasó la llanta sobre el pie. Ouch. Oh, he got, he got, look, he got run over. He got run over. Yeah, but it was uh, terrible. Then well, the he, company he's got two feet. He never feet, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then the company always try to to follow many many rulers because rules, the safety rules. rules rules because for the company safety it is first always for our people. that's always good that's good when they put safety first but as you say safety means a lot of rules and it means people following the rules. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. What about you, Walter? What Welcome are some you. rules from your company? Okay, teacher, uh, my company. Um, and the rule, uh, this is the not, rules. The rules. Uh, does is not, uh, does not uh, allow in the cohort in the ads. Uh, my company uh, cannot use in, in cell phone in world all mm -hmm. uh, I know smoking in the area the company okay uh, so you have to go out if you want to smoke yes uh, Hay un reglamento interno, teacher. Okay. Uh, sí. Uh, so, so much. Many rules. Many. Many. Many rules. Okay, interesting. Many. Thank you very much. Thank you very okay. much, Walter. Let's see. Oh, let's well. see. Let's see who's next. Um, Francisco, what about you? Tell me a little bit about your company. What are some rules in your company? Uh, we have uh, use the uh, safety issues, uh, uniform. Uh, how do you say chaleco uh, in English? Best, best. Chaleco reflectivo. Okay, best. reflective, yeah. Reflective best. We have used a reflective best. We have used the max of the time. Is not allowed with uh, sleeping in work hour. We we can use uh, the cell phone. We uh, all vision only. <laughs> okay, and tell me, what's your area? What do you do? Uh, I have a system operator and. Cotena del Salvador. What does your company uh, do? We, we do the, uh, we do uh, X-ray, X-ray uh, inspection uh, in the 
How do you say aduana, teacher? Oh, X-ray inspection at customs. 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 Uh, oh. We're doing X-ray inspection in customs. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Very interesting. The, the, the mercadería is uh, merchandise. Uh, merchandise, okay. Inspection the merchandise. Okay, well, interesting. So tell me, which customs office are you in? I in La Chadura Custom. Oh man, that's hot. <laughs> yes, it's very hot. It's very hot. Yeah. yeah. Even at night yeah. is terrible. Aun de noche is terrible. <laughs> Where is? Yes, yeah. I mean La Chadura. La Chadura okay. in uh, uh, Wachapanga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it is like. I there where you work, I have slept once on the floor. I only said trabajando en ocasión dormía en el suelo. Well, I tried to because it was so hot. I mean it was terrible. So sorry for you, my friend. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, guys. Now we are this going to do a different type of activity. Okay, we are going to forget about rules right now okay and we are going to talk we're going to have a small conversations with our classmates about a different topic okay and the activity is going to be as follows okay let me see Oops, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, You're going to be making two questions to your classmates. The first one is, what is your favorite hobby or what's your hobby? And then you're going to ask the person, why do you like it? Okay. You're going to do those two questions to your classmates. What is your favorite hobby? Why do you like it? Okay, so that means that the other person, well, all of you need to explain. Okay, I want to hear reason because when we come back, we are going to be doing this in groups of three members. When we come back here, I am going to ask you directly. Okay, you will explain to me. Right? Okay, let me recreate the groups right now. Groups are created, please jump in. You got five minutes for this activity. Why do you like it? <laughs> uh, I like it. I like um for is the form that um, make a exercise um um this this is this this is stress. Okay. 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 Relax. <laughs> okay. Look, it is. It is a way to 
to do some exercise and relax. It is a way to do some exercise and relax. Okay. Okay. Yes. So what's your hobby, Emma? Uh, play soccer. Playing soccer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now you ask one of the ladies, correct? Um, There's okay. Roxana and Marta. Okay. Um, oh, Roxana. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Um, Roxana, what is your favorite hobby? I have two favorite hobbies. Eat Mexican food and go shopping. And weekend. Eating, and weekend. eating, eating Mexican food. Eating Mexican food. And, and going shopping. Going shopping. So Why? I visited... I think that the first one, because I love it. Eating. Eating. I love eating. Eh, casi todo. Menos, almost everything. Almost everything. Eh, but. But I dislike pizza and hamburgers. Say what? You don't like pizza? No. <laughs> Why? I was uh, I was gonna I don't invite not you. believe it. <laughs> I was gonna invite you to some pizza. But... Hey, you can like invite it. me to eat in uh, and uh, no ¿cómo sería? You can't invite eating uh, Mexican food. No pizza, pizza is no. an invitation. You know, yes. I, like, I like I like pizza just a little bit. I can have uh, well, I can have one one pizza, eight slices. Uh, garlic bread, one con asco. I love garlic uh, bread. A liter of beer, un litro de cerveza, and I am <laughs> exact to the point. I want. I love pizza. Mm. I like, but if the pizza is gourmet pizza, like, um, eh, no sé cómo se dice, al horno, uh, como... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traditional. Ah, traditional, but eh, Papa John's and Pizza Hut, I don't like it. Oh, no, me neither. Me neither, me neither. So I prefer eh, Mexican food. La clásica. Yeah. It's delicious. But, the, I, la, de de Chicago. ¿Su qué? Chicago pizza. Mm -hmm. No. You like that one? The Chicago For pizza me, have a lot of uh, cheese. You okay. can uh, up the Yeah. Is well, the most the most most classical pizza is tomato pizza. Margarita. Margarita. Yep. That's the classic, the most classic. But I love, I also love anchovies pizza. Anchovies. Anchoa. No. I taste I, I that. Know. I taste that in ke pizza. I tried. I, I tried. tried that. I tried that in ke pizza. Interesting. Flavors. The one, the one from El Pomodoro is delicious. You have a lot of money. Yes, I it's expensive. Know. Yeah, it's expensive. I don't this know place, the Pomodoro. Ah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's yes. not that. Yes, it's not I'm, that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't go every weekend. No voy a uh, semanas, I mean, uh, yes. once on a while, I have tiempo, once on a while, or perhaps in, in a special occasions, I have gone there, like, uh, okay, anniversaries, all my anniversaries are there, uh, okay. it's, it's a special it's occasion, it's a special right? day, uh, yeah, it's a special day, but it's not like I go every weekend, my gosh, <laughs> I cannot afford no puedo permitirme. No, so, I, uh, another one, another place that I love is uh, Charlie's, Charlie's Boy. Charlie's Boy. Uh, yeah, I like it. 
I'm sorry for you, Roxana. The hamburgers are delicious. Yes, it's delicious. But when when the hamburgers is not um fast food, McDonald's or Burger King. Oh no, no, no. I don't no. like it. Come on. No. The, yes, the classic I mean, gourmet the Mc yeah. McDonald's is but is is good. Bad. The, those fast food joints, those fast food joints are not for me. Besides, and uh, McDonald's is good, but too small. And like, the, the, and the classic and gourmet is, is more big. I like big one. I mean big. When it comes to fast food, I like it big one. But in this yeah. case, you Me too. can you can uh, say that uh, these hamburgers are fast food. I think that is not uh, fast food for me. Fast yes. food is Pizza Hut and no, McDonald's. Fast food, fast food is the, the dish. La comida rápida es el platillo. El platillo es una cosa. Okay. The places are fast food joints. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I do not understand, teacher. Re, repeat, please. La, com la comida rápida es el platillo. But, of course, if you say a gourmet pizza, no, that's not a fast food because it's a special, uh, they prepare it in a special way. La preparan de una manera especial. Okay. Okay. But still, still, it's a little bit of fast food because it's not like a, it's not a, a la carte, okay? No es el, es un platillo más complejo. Mm -hmm. It okay. is not, it's not problem for me because I love all, all, all food. <laughs> okay. Your hobby well, is I need, eat, eat. I need to go, no. I need to go check out our group. How is it going, guys, finish? Yes, teacher, we finished. Yes, okay, teacher. we're going back to the main room. Okay. Let's see, everybody's coming in a few seconds. So we're gonna wait for them. So, Carlos, you are now in Soyapango, right? Yes, it's very- Where in Soyapango? <laughs> Where the, the in Soyapango? It's very hot, teacher. Okay, no, I'm asking you, where in Soyapango? What part of Soyapango? Ah, uh, in Colonia San Jose. Oh, down there, yeah, it's hot. It is yeah, very it's... hot. Usually it's very hot. This, this, this Colonia is very hot. This neighborhood. This neighborhood is very hot. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know, so Japan is hot. But believe me, where I live is even hotter than there. Uh, terrible. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Amber, tell me, what's your hobby? Okay, oh. well, my hobby is I love listening music. For example, I like the grunge music and romantic music too. Maybe I... I like to watch uh, a movie on Netflix or a good series, for example, the La Casa de Papel or Vis a Vis. And maybe in, on the weekends, I like to spend in time with my family or my friends in a good restaurant, or I like to visiting um, 
um, any place with uh, many trees, for example, Cerro Verde or El Pital. Okay, perfect, thank you. Just remember, Amber, listening to music. Listening to music, listening okay. To, to, listening to. Now, I love visiting. You cannot say, I love to. I love to visit. You say, I love to visit, or you say, I love visiting. Okay. Pero después del tú, siempre va un verbo en su forma simple. No puede ser con ING. Después de la particular. Sería, I love visiting, si uso el ING. Y si es una forma base, sin el, con el tú, ¿verdad? I love, yes, I love to visit. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Janira, what about you? What's your hobby? Open your mic, Janira. Thank you. I'm sorry. I like the ecological tourism. Say what? Uh, turismo ecológico. Yeah, don't ever invite me to that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to walk at the forest and visit these places. Um, Look at this blue sky and stay near to the river and mm. smell uh, without smoke. And I had chill, chill or chilling. What do you mean? Um, está relajada? Me relajo. I chill. I chill. I chill. I like to hear the beer sing. Okay. I, 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 I like the environment because the weather is very good. Um, something is from and nublado. Froggy. Froggy. Something is froggy. And I like to travel too because I like to visit to visit the the forest. Okay. I like in, in El Salvador and to out out of the Salvador. And also, and also abroad. And also abroad. What does it mean? Extranjero. Ah, okay. And also abroad. May, oh, maybe okay. I'm planning my next trip. Where are you going to go? Where would you like to go? Well, I have two, two options. Uh, go, go with my friend or go to visit my brother. Okay, but which, where, where, which places? Where in, if I choose go to my brother, I visit. If I his, choose. If I choose visit my brother, I go to Greensboro. Okay. But if I choose go with my friend, uh, maybe I go to the zoo. To the zoo. Zoological. Yeah, to the zoo. Yeah, because this is a good place in in this estado, state. Which state do you say? Or city, in, in this city. Which is the state? Is Texas, is Waco. Waco, Texas. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. In Waco, <laughs> Texas, there's some people who speak kind of weird. It's, it's a okay. lot in this time. Yeah. But there are some people that, I mean, their pronunciation is kind of interesting. But I Waco, Waco. I don't yeah, know no. what is the correct. Waco. No, no, no. What I, what I mean is that. Uh, por ahí hay algunas personas que tienen un acento interesante. We are, we are accent. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a very interesting accent. 
Yeah, because in this state has a lot of Indian people and yeah. they, they, it's difficult to understand when, when I, when I, uh, I don't know, what do you say, hice una parada? I made a stop. I made a stop. When I try to speak with a receptionist that he may uh, look at the Indian people, I try to understand and I uh, see this, this lip, but I understand. And then I take my phone and put the traductor, but understand. Translator. Translator. Yeah. Translator. What's yeah, difficult? That... Yeah, that accent gets time to get used to it. Quiere tiempo acostumbrarse al acento. That's yes. normal. That's normal. And that happens in different states. I mean, it's like if you go to some areas like uh, from New Orleans, if I go to area of New Orleans, man, you will hear the uh, interesting vocabulary because they got a uh, French influence. Oh, okay. If you go to the other side to Massachusetts, you are going to see to listen people speaking like rounder, their O's are rounder, so they kind they they kind of speak something like this. So it's it's a little bit different. It is weird when I see some uh, series about this play, I can hear that the accent is very different. Yeah, it is. But you get used to it. Interesting. Thank you very much, Janila. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Carlos, what's your hobby? Okay, my, my hobby is uh, play soccer uh, because I, I, I am relaxed with my, in, of my work. And I, I, I live in, in front of uh, Stadium, but it's not a stadium, really. It's a cancha polvosa. <laughs> okay. That's a Salvadorian yes. stadium, my friend. That's a Salvadorian yes. stadium. Uh, El polvorín. Yes. I, I like to play soccer with my my children. And only that teacher. That, okay. that is my, my favorite hobby. Okay. When do you play soccer? When do you practice? Usually, um, yeah. Usually on weekend uh, because in, in, in week in two days I, I have to work, but um, okay. on Saturdays or uh, is is more easy to me. It's easier for me. It's, it's easier for me. Okay. Perfect. Interesting. Well. Wilfredo, I know that he has the same passion. No, Edward, Edward, I, oh, Edward is busy. Keep on, Edward, don't worry, don't worry. Let's see, what about you, Wilfredo? I, I am ready, I am ready, teacher. Excuse okay. me. Okay, go I'm ahead. Sorry. Let's see, Edward, uh, what's your hobby? The same as Carlos, right? Uh, okay, my hobby is um, play soccer. Playing, um, soccer. playing soccer, playing soccer. Uh, it is like it? it is a way to do some exercise, exercise, and relax. Okay. Um, it is also it is also uh, a way to uh, let out <laughs> some steam. Look, <laughs> look at this. Look at this sentence. It is also a way to let out some steam. Okay. It, it is it, also it, a way to let out some steam. It means that uh, es una manera de, de, de liberar un poco de presión. Okay. Oh. Okay. To relax. Steam, That's the idea. Steam, steam is, steam is, is vapor. Ajá, correcto. Ajá, okay. Por eso es liberar presión. Ajá. Ok. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. In the case in my partners. <laughs> in the case in my partners. Um, 
uh, to likes um, to go shopping. Say what? In the, the case, partner. in my partners, uh, um, to uh, likes uh, to shopping. Um, going shopping. Going shopping. Um, and Roxana uh -huh. uh, likes to eat in Mexican food. And, okay. and Marta likes uh, watch movies. Watching movies. Interesting. Watching movies. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much, Edward. Let's see, I still got time for Elvia. Elvia, what about you? Tell me, what's your hobby? I... College plan. Okay, so you love your garden. <laughs> yes. I like it because there are um, varieties of chef. Variety. 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 Of yes, shape variety. and color. Uh, I like the most rose cactus, oh, roses e orchids 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 yeah i love orchids i love. hate roses <laughs> yeah but orchids oh man they are beautiful they are very beautiful, beautiful. yeah interesting interesting maria alejandra tell me what's your hobby Teacher, I um my favorite hobby is to read a book. Uh -huh. um, I like. Who's your, who's your favorite author? <sighs> or what's uh, your favorite book? My favorite book is the last book. The last book, um, are the saga. Okay, what are they about? Mm, it's a history for the fantasy and have a many reinos, King Kong, <laughs> and for mm, uh, no cortes to yeah, court. courts, courts. Course and the name is the book is Court Court of Rings, Cup of Court Wind Wings. Okay, you gotta send me the name of the book. I'm gonna read the number of the book. I will read it. I love reading. That's my hobby. Okay, and are very um large, but is very interesting, but. Don't worry, I am addicted. That's I'm addicted to reading. I read like two books, two books per week. Really? Oh, I'm addicted to it. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. I need to get the attendance one last time, guys. Amber, Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Renderos. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Uh, Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present teacher. Hey Fausto, you were quiet. Tomorrow I'll take him to an account. Fernando Marvin González. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa, Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero, Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo, Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea, Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía, Present teacher. Sil Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda, Walter present, Mauricio present, Morales present, Arauco. Present, present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. 
Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos, San Carlos no. Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Perfect. And let's see. Okay, guys. Homework for tomorrow. Uh, I haven't forgotten. No se me olvida que no me dieron el de ahora, but tomorrow we will do it because tomorrow is vocabulary practice, okay? Homework for tomorrow. This thing that you did, I need it on writing. Send it to me. Me envían la respuesta a las dos preguntas, okay? On written. What's your hobby and why, okay? ¿Cuál es su pasatiempo en why? Even if you said it, write it. Aunque me lo haya dicho acá, orally, I need you to send it to me, okay? Manuscrito. Yes, please. Handwritten. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate okay. it. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Okay, let's see, let's see. Mr. Wilfredo, hello, how are you, my friend? Fine teacher. Hey, so sorry, but the last the last class I me quedé no I, I was knocked out in the sofa. <laughs> I got it. I was very very tired. And when I wake up. Uh, yeah, wake up. I can imagine that happens. That happens. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal. And tell me, uh, hold on. Tell me, is there anything that uh, perhaps I will help you? I could help you. Le podría ayudar, or something that wasn't that clear. Algo que no haya claro, or perhaps some doubt that you have about English. Uh, I have a, a confusion teacher. Tell me, tell when, me. When, but the, the, the last class at, classes, you told us when, and you, when, when, when you use there, there are, and there is, but uh, uh, sometimes I, I, I confuse when because if i talking about team for example oh, okay yes the, like a team we have to use uh is there is yes but if i i talk about the players for example oh there are there are but i i it's actually I in sure. that in that case, it's exactly as in Spanish. In este caso, igual que en español. Yeah, but, but you told us in the class, in the last classes, too, uh, el florero y las flores. The flowers yeah. are in the base. In I, the I don't flower base. In the yeah. base. Okay, yes. The situation is this. Remember, the, the most difficult aspect is perhaps the... Uh, when we talk about countable and uncountable nouns, okay? That's actually the, the, the problem. El problema es que lo tenemos con los countable and uncountable, right? Because you use, there is for, for uncountable and for countable when it's just one. Usamos el there is para contables e incontables. Lo usamos para los incontables cuando la palabra se refiere al término que vuelve el grupo, ¿verdad? And we use it for uh, countables when we are talking about one. Y lo usamos para contables cuando hablamos sobre una cosa. When we talk about uncountables, we say uh, tea, sugar, water, air, rice. Son cosas que no son contables. Knowledge, conocimiento, beauty. Okay. In those cases, we use there is. Okay. Okay. Now. En estos casos, con los incontables, no usamos a o an. No decimos un o una. We use to express the quantity of something uncountable. We use expressions like some, 
a lot of, much, a bit, a great deal. Uh, let me see. I'll give you an example. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Here, I'll text you some of the words that we use. We use these words, some. Con los incontables usamos. Oh, there is some water. Hay un poco de agua. There is a lot of. Mucha. Mosh. Mucha. A bit of. Un poquito. A great deal of. Una gran cantidad de. Or we use an exact measurement. O usamos una medida. Ok. Las medidas. Es distinto. Nosotros las cosas con incontables no las contamos. En algunos casos podemos medirlas. Like, you cannot count water. Usted no puede decir un agua, dos aguas. You cannot say one water, two water. You say one liter, one bag, okay? one bottle, una botella, un litro, una bolsa. Right? Okay. But in that case, en ese caso, ¿qué está contando? Está contando las Unidades, unidades de medida, not exactly the product. No está contando el producto porque okay. no se puede contar. It's like rice, el arroz. ¿Se pone usted a contar el arroz? No, it's too complex, right? What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? La medida. Usted va y pide one pound, una libra, right? One pound, okay. Yeah, because you cannot say este, no se puede contar. You measure. Ok. Ok. It's like time, el tiempo. Actually, you cannot count the time. You measure. Usted no puede contar el tiempo. Lo mide. Right? In hours, days, seconds, minutes, weeks, months, years. Right? That's what okay. we do. So when we use the word that encompasses a group, it's always in singular. Cuando usamos la palabra que envuelve un grupo, lo usamos en singular. Like uh, furniture. Furniture is an example. Este, muebles, este es un ejemplo. Okay. The word okay. in English, furniture is uncountable. La palabra mueble. Es incontable. Why? Because it refers to the full spectrum of furniture. Fruit. Fruta. When you say fruta, I mean, it's big. It's in not general. One type. Yeah, it's in general. Okay. When you use a general term, use it like that. And you got words like, the problem with some is that some nouns are countable in other languages, but uncountable in English. También hay un detalle que unos poquitos eh, son contables en otros lenguajes, pero no en inglés. ¿Ok? Like uh, yeah. advice, consejos. In Spanish, you give an advice. Usted da un consejo, right? But okay. in English, you don't. En inglés, no. In English, it's uncountable. I'll give you some advice. Le voy a dar... I mean, it doesn't make sense for us in Spanish because we say, you say it like this, look. Se lo esta manera. Some advice. Okay? Some advice. But in, in Spanish, the word consejo, it's countable. En español se es contable. Se le dice a su hijo, te voy a dar un consejo, right? You say uh -huh. one. But in English, it's not. That's I those like are like some, some advice. Yes, those are some, those are exception, exception, and there are just a few. Okay, I'll give you okay. some examples about this one. From the exception, these are like the most common. Look in the chat accommodation, yeah. advice, baggage. Uh, las maletas que llevamos el equipaje. Bag, bag. Baggage. Baggage. Behavior. Behavior. El comportamiento. 
Braille, of course, Braille, pan. Yeah. And furniture, I told you furniture. Information. You don't give one information. You give some information, a lot of information, a bit of information, okay? Much information. And let's see. Teacher. Yes. When when we make a presentation, for example, we have to explain our result. Um, for example, I, may I introduce the the presentation telling I am going to show you, and I go and I going to uh, give information, or we are, we are going to give some information. Actually, uh, the most appropriate when we have a reunion is to share. In this case, como es una reunión y estamos hablando formal, share some information. Like this. We can use teacher. We can use this this word share. Uh, I I guess. Oh, yo yo pensaba that we are we use this word only um, for example when we are texting we are uh, an email no it's compartir ah okay like a, okay. Uh, like hey man that pizza is good share some with me please we are talking about food I am sitting in a bench. Hey, I'll share with you my space. Le voy a compartir mi espacio. So you use it in different contexts. It's the verb compartir. Okay, and it refers and what, to the action. Compartir. Yeah, what about the spend? Spend time? Oh, spend time. El equivalente más cercano en español sería como pasar tiempo. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Like I spend a lot of time reading books. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, watching videos. Yeah. Listen, listen to music. Yeah. Listening to music. Yeah, I spend some time listening to music also. Okay. Okay, teacher. Well, interesting. It's been interesting, yeah. right? Uh, uh, the the problem, teacher, is that, that I was studying English many many years ago in the uh, eight nine years ago. I was studying English oh, presence. Yeah. And you stopped. And you stopped. Yeah. Yeah. But I always always want to continue studying English. Because I like it. Yeah, but, I like it. Mm. But you're doing good. You're doing good, actually. Just remember to yeah. keep on practicing. Yeah. Because you're, Sometimes you're I, I, I like to watch. Yeah, but my my second child, I, I like to play guitar. And... and but he liked to, to sing English. And I like to sing with him because it is, it is good. I like to-, to It's a I like good to exercise. Listen to him when he's playing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great exercise. But I, I like to, yeah. But then I, I like to watch news in English because oh. sometimes when we are watching uh, al rato de estar escuchando yeah you uh, get to understand some how do you yeah. say ya el oído. yeah yeah it's normal it's yeah. very normal don't worry but the, the, that the trouble for me or the problem for me is that that speak very very fast but when if you are watching the picture or the videos you can relationate the speaking with the, with the, I don't know, con el tema. Yeah, with the topic. But, 
Yeah, with the topic. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal. But well, it is keep good on practicing, teacher. Wilfredo. Keep on practicing. And you know, any other question? I'm going to be here. Uh, perhaps I will give you. I a have team. more questions, teacher, but. But no, I. No, no. I... Uh, what, I, what we will do is this. Lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Voy a tener unos espacios por ahí libres de algunos compañeros que posiblemente no se van a conectar. Le voy a dejar saber de antemano y si gusta, lo podemos aprovechar. You told me the last week, teacher, I told you that, that I, I have that I have a problem because when I talk in English with another people, some, sometimes I, I, I don't find uh, some work to continue speaking. And you told me that I'm going to give some advice. But if you yeah. can share me, yeah, some tips to improve my vocabulary. <clears throat> if you have a little space, if another co partner um, can't be in the in this space, this is no problem. Tell, tell me. Let's and see, let's I see, can, let's see. Uh, let's see when yeah i think i'm gonna have one other one Creo que sí voy a tener otro espacio por ahí. i'll let you know okay. voy a avisar con tiempo. okay okay teacher okay have a good night take care my friend uh, good night, teacher tomorrow take bye care bye. see you bye see ya.